Okay, um, I was just going to go over a few things that I um, left out of the other videos that I did. Um, just a few um, key factors about the PCOS and the diet. Um, some symptoms that I forgot to mention before were um, low energy is one of them and uh, depression is also another symptom. So I've had um, both of those things in the past so um, actually I still get low energy a lot of the time um, pretty much every second day also I get really low energy so those are two other symptoms that come with PCOS um, with the diet they do recommend that you try and get um, as much as your food as possible to be organic so um, if you can't afford everything organic which a lot of people can't these days um, then I recommend just try and get your meats and your eggs either organic or free range is okay as well so um, they're the most important ones so um, if you can get everything organic then that's awesome some beverages to avoid are things like um, fruit juices because of the higher sugar content and also they've just got um, not like less fiber than sorry <laughs> um, less fiber than actual fruit and the vitamin content is significantly lower as well so it's best to eat fruit in its whole form um, so other things like um, sodas and other sweet drinks are a no-no as well, so obviously because of the sugar. Um, water is definitely the best thing to drink and you should probably drink about 8 to 10 glasses a day and um, just so you get rid of all the toxins in your body and to keep hydrated. So. Um, other drinks that you can have are green tea, which is really good, and other any other herbal teas are good as well. So, um, fish is a really good thing. You should probably have fish about two to three times a week, and um, especially the um, omega three oily fishes um, like salmon and mackerel and tuna, those kind of fish. They're really good for the um, omega-3 fatty acids. So, um, But other fish is really good as well, so any other seafood is good. Um, some meats that you probably shouldn't have are like really fatty ones like um, so no bacon, ham, um, sausages, salami, pork and that kind of thing, they're all just, um, they've got too high of fat content so um, in this diet probably avoid those ones. So when I was saying how the diet's got two levels to it, um, so I'm going to stick to the recommended level for about a month and then after a month I'll start adding foods from the maintenance level of the diet so um, that just means I can start eating more um, foods like legumes like beans, peas, um, peanuts are okay if they're organic or if you're not um, allergic to them or sensitive to them in any way then because a lot of people are and they have reactions so um, yeah you've just got to find out what is suited to you personally so which a lot of this diet is about basically finding out what suits you and what your body can handle and what it can't and that kind of thing so um, other things in the maintenance level um, soy is okay but if you're trying to conceive then some people are a bit wary of it just because of the high estrogen um, levels it can give you and there's a lot of um, controversy about whether soy is actually good for you or if it's not so that's entirely up to you as well so 
Um, bananas, uh, okay, but they say, for some people they may not be, like, again, they may give you allergies or your body may just not process them well. Um, I'm going to stay away from bananas just because of the really high carbohydrate level and sugars in the bananas and also there are um, quite a high glycemic index so um, yeah bananas aren't the best fruit to have so um, if you are going to eat grains then the best grains that you can eat that have that are quite low GI um, are rolled oats like they've got to be the whole rolled oats so not the um, quick oats or porridge oats or whatever and um, quinoa is also another good one um, and also buckwheat farinata which has got that d inositol so that's really good um, if you are going to have dairy they say that the best dairy foods to have are um, feta cheese and natural plain yogurt non-sweetened and um, just a little bit of parmesan cheese is okay so probably because they're um, lower in the saturated fat so they're probably the best dairy foods that you can have um, so as you can see this diet is like extremely restrictive um, with what you can eat and so um, if you're not like wanting to do the diet to help with your PCOS symptoms then I recommend just going on a totally um, low GI diet so you're just eating foods with a low glycemic index and also um, foods just avoiding um, fatty foods so cutting out saturated fats and also cutting out sugars so they're the most important things that you should do having PCOS so um, I think I've covered everything so if anyone's got any questions at all or anything you want to know just um, ask away so I'll be happy to answer any questions I've done heaps of research on this and I'm still reading up about everything so um, hopefully these videos can help you understand a bit more about PCOS. So, see you guys.